Virginia Tech, seven straight losses taking on Duke. We pick it up 45 seconds to go. Three-point game. Fonz, Tyrese Proctor, big shot here. Tyrese Proctor hit a huge one there. Ten points in this game. He had six assists as well. Ties things up at 75. Next Hokies possession. Michael Collins Jr. is going to hit a big-time shot that would turn out to be the game winner. But, Coach, what did you see after the play? At the end of this play, you see Michael Collins celebrating by accident. He catches Filipowski in his throat. There does not have to be an intent to be a flagrant one. Obviously, that's not incidental contact. There's no intent, but that is contact above the shoulders. That is a flagrant one. No flagrant one was called. Under 12 seconds to go, a golden opportunity for Duke. Yeah, Kyle Filipowski is the one that you want to take that shot. He's got to get in the lane, make a play, or a pull it up from the foul line. I would have liked to see it be in his hands, Seth. One last chance for the Blue Devils, and yet Hunter Couture steals it. And a big time win for Virginia Tech, 78-75. First and foremost, coach, a gigantic win for the whole Huge win. Seven in a row. They lose seven games in a row. All of a sudden, a win yeah. this game against Duke. Hunter Couture, 40 minutes. Shot making. The ball moves when, when he's on the floor. And he's an elite defender and a great leader. Mm -hmm. Not without controversy, though, Fonz. What did you see on that shot by Collins? MJ Collins made a huge shot. And he was just turning to celebrate, as any of us would. And unfortunately, Kyle Filipowski's face was right there. And Seth talked about it earlier. It's not really about intent. You hit someone above the shoulders that way. It's a flagrant one foul. Should be two free throws. And the ball at the point of possession. This is not a hard call. And I'll tell you, you see this play right there. There was no intent right there. There was a young guy that just made a big play, a freshman, and he celebrated. Mafon, stand right up. All right, say Fon just gets a defensive rebound. All right? And he's going to turn to make an outlet. Boom, he catches me here. There's no intent. All right? But that's a flagrant one. Mm -hmm. Now, if Fon's get that same rebound, and he, bam, he has an intent, and he catches me, all of a sudden, that's a flagrant two, and Fon's, you go to the locker room. Oh, I've been waiting so, for four years to get that one in, too. That got tough. So, I mean, it is an Wrong. unfortunate play. Yes. Great shot and great mm -hmm. execution for Virginia Tech down the stretch. Mm -hmm. But you also have to adjudicate it the yes. way it is written in the book. Does not have to be an intent to call a flagrant one. Great win for Virginia Tech. Mm -hmm. Let's look at they had a very similar play Saturday. Virginia Tech. Lynn Kidd stands up, mm -hmm. P.J. Hall in transition. Watch the middle of your screen, boom. All right, all he's doing, Lynn Kidd, is standing up, mm -hmm. also he doesn't get to his spot. But because he catches him above the shoulder in the net, you know what that was called? It was adjudicated, a flagrant one. The free throws were shot, and obviously point of interruption. So mm -hmm. that's the way it's written in the book. Yes. You've got to make that call. You've got to make the call. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.